Alrighty, here we are again. Um, this one's been a really long time coming. I feel like I've spent all day just thinking about it, um, dabbling a little bit, going, going away, doing something else, coming back, which is really fitting because what I wanted to talk about today was taking action on the things that you plan to do to move you closer towards your ultimate purpose. And it really just like proved itself today to me that sometimes it's really hard to push yourself to take that action, even though you may know full well that what you've planned to do is really going to move you forward. But whether you're, you know, today I'm, I'm tired, um, I'm sore and I just have the, that mood where I'm like, oh, I just want to lie down all day and, and not do anything. But that kind of like perpetuates and it snowballs and then you get into a slump. So for me, it's like trying to really push myself out of that mood so that then I can gain momentum in the other direction, which is more of a, a productive direction and it actually makes you feel good and, and it gives you energy rather than taking it away, which is what that slump tends to do for me, is I find myself actually losing more and more energy if I'm not being productive and not moving towards my purpose. Granted, sometimes you need that rest, which is actually moving you forward because you really may be, you know, a bit overtired and you just need a day where you just rest and you don't do much. Um, and that's perfectly fine. But when it becomes just procrastination because you you can't find the, the grit to push yourself towards your goal, then it's important to find that thing that can push you out of that circle and into uh, the circle towards your purpose and your values. So the reason that I'm here in front of a piano is because that is my thing that has pulled me out of that downward spiral and into an upward spiral. And sometimes your thing, your why may come in different shapes and sizes. And for me personally, I think it's important when I listen to that and honor that and move towards what is actually standing out to me on the day. Today I wanted to share a song that I wrote when I was overseas. My life coach Nash Mackey prompted me to start writing a song um, and I said oh, I don't have a piano I can't write a song and he said you have a voice and so I went out on a ride just an easy ride and I wrote a song um, in that time I'd pretty much just decided that I was going to retire and I hadn't told many people apart from probably just Nash and my partner Blake and I was pretty scared about releasing that information to the rest of my loved ones I was I was super like ready to retire and that was a decision that I'd come to myself and that was really important that I'd come to that decision myself without outsourcing all the information from everyone else and formulating you know an opinion based off everyone else's opinion which I have done in the past it doesn't work out too well <laughs> um, but yeah this one was my own and I hadn't told anyone and I was pretty scared about telling my loved ones um so this song I wrote for my dad and I haven't shown him this song yet so this song is really about telling my dad about my retirement and telling all my loved ones really not just not just dad although he was who I was thinking of at the time of writing it and how I would tell him um how I was retiring He's my number one fan and I was and I'm his little girl and I was about to tell him that I'm completely changing my life and 
going in an opposite in a different direction to sport which I've always gone in and that's been a huge part of our relationship and our bond has been through sport um, and competing um, dad used to take me to all of my competitions and we'd spend so much time together he trained me he coached me he gave me all the tips and tricks for that um, he's also given me all the tips and tricks that I know for music so here we go. Can I tell you something? It's small, but feels so big. And can you promise to not say a thing? Cause the way you feel could change everything. And I'm tired. Just saying goodbye Leaving echoes of myself By your side And if I'm honest I've been keeping this inside It's time to speak my truth Hope it don't make you cry I choose to be every single part of me and I choose to see all the parts inside So that's pretty much um, half the song. <laughs> There's another another verse and the chorus again, um, but that's what I wanted to share today. And it really just is an expression of how I felt at the time. I kind of wanted to let my loved ones down easy, you know, um, and that's how it felt, but in, how the process is rolled out. I've noticed that I haven't let them down at all. And that feels really good for their responses just to be the most loving, the most caring and just wanting the best for me. But to loop back around, the real reason I wanted to sing that is to be is to show you that taking action can just build your energy if you let it and if you listen to what you really want to do in that time where you might be getting in a bit of a slump like I was totally today if you listen to what is the energy inside you that's like oh if I could choose one thing to express a true part of myself what would I do and you know my heart was saying play that song for dad and so I've gotten on here I've done that and I feel a lot better. So I really hope that you guys can take something out of that today. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Peace.